you so much for joining me today. I'm here in gorgeous Koh Phangan and I'm here to make a really quick video and it just is on my heart so I want to share with you. I got a beautiful question from Anne who is one of our community members here on YouTube and she asked me about my thoughts around the state of the world. She's been really concerned about the state of the world, especially climate change, and she wanted to know how I respond to this. Thank you, Anne, for that question. I have two, two thoughts, two offerings around this that I wanted to share that is hopefully uplifting and empowering around this subject. I really believe a couple of things. One is that amazing quote from Gandhi that says, be the change you want to see in the world. So I really believe it begins with us. Sometimes we can feel that things are so much greater than us. How can we make a difference? But we absolutely can. If each of us had took on that power, it could be incredible. So the first thing I would say is be the change. And it begins with thoughts. It begins with your words. It begins with actions. Doing something kind, saying something kind to and about someone every single day, I believe has this incredible ripple-like effect in the world. There have been studies that show that when people pray or send good vibrations, good thoughts out for people who are ill, there's more of a chance of them getting better, that there is real power in positive thinking and prayer. Other studies have shown that meditation, so again, sending an energy of presence and love towards the world has been shown to decrease the amount of crimes in cities. So our thoughts are so powerful, but you can even take more action. So every month for several years now, I give a donation. I put something financially towards an organization that I believe is doing really good work in the world. And it might be very little. There's been some months, it's been very little based on what's been coming in for me. I actually really love Kickstarter. My sweet husband turned me on to that platform as a way to regularly give money. And a lot of times in the past I was looking for organizations and now many times I get on Kickstarter, I find a project being done by one or a few people that really speaks to my heart and I give to them. So you can give the money, but also what are you doing? So one thing we try to do, my sweetheart and I, is making sure we're reducing the amount of plastics and um, one-use products so that we do make, try to make a positive change in what we are doing for the climate. It really does begin with us. It begins with our thoughts, our actions, and our words. And they are so much more powerful than we often give credence to. So I'm going to get very specific and maybe a little provocative here. Um, I'm Nigerian American, so I'm a U.S. citizen, and a lot of the things that are happening in the States right now, a lot of things there have been very concerning to me. And I have been so upset by a lot of things that um, our President Trump has said and done, and many people in the States have felt very upset and angry about things that Donald Trump has said or, or done. And this might seem like a crazy idea, but it really came to me, came downloaded from spirit to me, that if we just sent love and positive prayers to this person, to this man who has so much power, if we sent thoughts of love towards him, what could happen? That might seem crazy, might be the last emotion you feel towards this person or any person that you may substitute for this but I do think it has such power. I believe love to be the most healing force in the entire world. And if we could send thoughts of love to people in power, no matter how corrupt or greedy or wrong we may think they, they are, I believe there is such potency in that. So that's my answer. That's what I have, that's what's on my heart. And I hope you resonated with something. I hope. Part of that was uplifting. One more thing I want to share is be very mindful of what you take in as truth. Be very mindful of what you take in as news, as truth that you are reading on, from newspapers, reading from the computer. 
there's also a lot of good being ha happening in the world, but many times the newspapers, the media really shows us the bad. I'm not saying hide from it. I'm not saying hide from reality, but understand the reality is often given to you and served up a certain way. So mindfully take in, consume this information. I personally, I'm at a point where I'll read the news a maximum one time a, a week, and I'm still very, very, um, thoughtful and mindful about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. I send you so much love. I'm sweating from my run, but I'm sending you so much love from Kopangan. Take care. <music>